This is called Walking with Crutches and the Trees. So today I'm crutching it back from a session with Brooke, my speech and language therapist, at the East Grinstead Infirmary. To get into a park, I th cut through a kind of hidden, foresty type bit. And I'm 14 again, being somewhere I shouldn't, scampering through the hidden shadows. The smell of leaves and the silence nudges a long, hid a long forgotten, hidden sensory memory. And I get that feeling of secret, newfound freedom. And it is quite, quite lovely and exciting. Here I am, 34 years of age, and I'm getting thrills from being in my, on my own in, in the woods. And don't get me wrong, I'm a staggering mess. The terrain doesn't really agree with me or the crutch. It's hard bloody work. If I fell and hurt myself, I'd be all alone in the middle of nowhere. I know that if my mum could see me, she'd be having kittens which only kind of makes the whole palava, palava cooler. I stop and look around at this dark, shady place and Moon River comes on my MP3. I don't know how it got on my mp3, but as the strings slide in, it feels like a gift. From who? I don't know, but a gift to hear this song whilst in this gently moving scene. I look around, the sunlight filters through the leaves, dances, and then is gone. The romance of the lyrics and the melody fit so perfectly with this moment. There is such a lot of world to see. The trees cotton on and soon start swaying in time. As the song plays on, I realise that it's not easy to feel this time, to feel this way every time we look at a bloody tree, but this feeling has been thrust upon me by everything that's happened, by the darkness of the coma, by being inside by, for so long, by the, by the euphoria, and by not being dead. I know I'm not gonna have a staggering epiphany every time I go for, the walk, for a walk with nice music on my MP3, but this is now. This is a gift. I need to remember this. The song finishes and I silently thank the trees. Thank you for this dance. <clears throat> right, time to move on. I turn and realise that getting out of this lovely place and into the park isn't going to be so easy. There's, there's a fence to get over. I look at it frowning and then decide I'm just going to have to go for it. I throw my crutch over, deftly straddle the wobbling wire, vault it, and very coolly land in a heap on the other side. ka -chunk. I blearily look up. I have landed at a dog walker's confused feet. She huffs, all haughty-like, and lifting her head very deliberately, steps around me. She must be wondering what a full-grown man is doing blithering out of the wilderness. But she doesn't get it. I'm not a grown-up. I'm a kid. I was only spat into the world, kicking and screaming a few months ago. She should be amazed, really. But the shocked old deer gives an audible harumph and strides off. 